Now at four, we're learning some new information about that deadly train derailment near Tacoma that killed three people and hurt dozens more. The Amtrak engineer says he misjudged the train's location before it plunged onto I-5. Amy Frazier is here with more on this investigation. Well, Dan, the investigation is far from over. However, the NTSB was finally able to interview the train engineer and a conductor in training who were in the lead locomotive. Both were badly hurt in this accident. The 55-year-old train engineer tells federal investigators he misjudged where he was along the new route. On December 18th, the train went into a curve at more than twice the speed limit. The engineer says he knew there was a curve with a 30 mile per hour speed restriction. He had planned to start braking about a mile before it, but he says he doesn't recall seeing the advance warning sign, which is posted about two miles ahead of the curve. He says as soon as he saw the sign at the start of the curve, he applied the brakes. Seconds later, though, the train derailed. Hey guys, what happened? Uh, we were coming around the corner to take the bridge over I-5 there, uh, right north into Squally, and we went on the ground. Okay, are you, um, is everybody okay? I'm still figuring that out. We got cars everywhere and down onto the highway. Now, also during the interview, the engineer revealed he trained on the new route during the five weeks leading up to the crash. He operated the equipment on it three trips. Investigators also interviewed a 48-year-old conductor. The day of the wreck, he was in the locomotive training. He says most of the time he was looking at his paperwork to help learn the new territory. Just before the derailment, he heard the engineer say or mumble something. He looked up and then felt the train becoming airborne. Now, these two interviews are just part of the investigation process. It's expected to take a year or two. Back to you.